Yeah, this is this is actually really exciting for us. The last few years have been sort of, you know, a little gloomy around America. Colors have been darker, silhouettes have been maybe a little bit more droopy. And all of a sudden, there seems to be like this new joy. And you know, whatever also whatever one's politics are, there seems to be a new pride in being American. So for us, we we love guys that are in their 40s. When my father, God bless him, was 50 years old, he was an old man by, by his thought process. I mean, I'm in my 50s and I'm figuring out, you know, what club to go to and what I'm going to do in my workouts in the morning. It's just a different society. What we did with this new collection is um, our influence was in England. So you'll see we have a delivery called Cambridge and Somerset and Isle of the Sky. The base of this is very romantic. It has a scholarly feel to it, and also it's about mixing textures and the fabrics. Primarily, I mean, the, the inspiration, it was the city of London, and, and the reason why um, I chose this city is because really uh, combining the three elements that this collection is all about is is a uh, um, rich city, of course. This collection is about richness, not only from the fabrics, also for the silhouettes and for the whole outlook that we see towards the future. That is, everybody wants to look rich, everybody wants to look good. This is not clothing for, for you know, teenagers, but it's clothing for guys in their 30s and 40s and 50s who still are relevant. So they're in good shape, they're still occupied with what's going on in society. Hopefully 2010 will be a better year for them in a lot of ways than the last couple of years have been. So for us, there's more color in the line. There's a lot more shape to the garments. Joseph Abood is known for tactile fabrics and you'll see in our wovens that we add satin weaves, cording, and also in the sweaters it's about cable knits. Um, it's different blends, alpaca wool. In outerwear it becomes very functional and technical. It is a contemporary collection. Um, it's masculine, it's rich, and it has a great heritage. So those three things, to me, the City of London has it, and this collection has it. With the economy on a downswing, we really wanted to take a place where we could, you know, use fabrics that are rich and expensive in nature. But yet what we do as we design the collection, we also are very aware of price points with the sportswear. So even though we're using different fabrics, European piece goods and everything, the the price points are very affordable with the economy, but it gives you a higher class, a higher expensive feel to the collection. When, when times are gloomy, guys and maybe women too tend to buy you know navy and black and, and other other darker colors. All of a sudden colors are back. So a great plaid like this is, is actually pretty exciting and we're selling it. We do corduroy, but not corduroy like in a tan. We do it, this comes in a bunch of bright colors, including a pink color, which, is, which we've sold really well. One of the things that's, uh, that I love is the majority of the line, we've done it all totally unconstructed. One of the things is that I don't see tailored clothing from, you know, like, like in the past it used to be perceived as a, um, you wear a suit only from nine to five, Monday to Friday, not anymore. I mean, the way I see it is, um, Tailor clothing is any time of the day. I mean, you can wear it in the evening and you can wear it over the weekend. With the sportswear items, we really like to introduce details in each model. So as much as we design it as a cohesive look, we also select each model and we incorporate little details. As the corduroy shirt, we have the suede patches on the elbow and you'll also see that um, in the clothing area that we do. So it's really about mixing the fabrications and the different textures. Sense of colors, I mean, we think that color is very important for the lines. I mean, we went through this dark era of all the colors, they were very somber, and all the buyers, they want to be all very safe. And now we thought, no, it's not no more. I mean, the customer needs a reason why to buy a new suit. Yeah. So color, yeah, richness, from the shirts, even yeah, actually we see a lot, a lot actually on the on the on the accessories. I mean, like you can see from the shirts, the ties, um, that people want to be happy again, mm -hmm. and I think re you'll see a lot of that reflected in the collection. I mean, this is sort of happy. Even the logo, I'm not sure it's in this jacket, but the logo is now we changed it to be a, a navy logo, which is just happier than what it had been before. Last year it was sort of it was brown and green. It was right for the times, but it just looked a little gloomy. So. Um, so that's that's really what we're all about. So this is the kind of piece that you wear on a Sunday morning, just you know, put of your your 
jeans, your flip-flops, and go to get a coffee at Starbucks or whatever you get the coffee, and you put this instead of a sweatshirt. It's, it's, it's cut as a blazer, but it's actually knitted, so that gives sort of the, the relaxed comfort look to it. And we have three different silhouettes, starting from the one that you're talking about, the more athlete, that does the sort of uh, most of the average guy, and uh, and if it's, it's, we call it sort of like an universal fit. Even though we updated that fit too, we trim it a little bit more, but it still fits very, very well. So then we have that. Then we have another one that's sort of like the slimmer fit. It's the guy who starts to go to the gym and needs to go to the gym, but still wants that kind of comfort. And then we have another silhouette that's called Hudson, that that's the newest one that is very, very, actually, much, much slimmer, high arm holes, strong shoulders, wider lapels, shorter jacket. So in terms of whether we fit, I mean, we are, we make sure that we have different silhouettes for every, you know, sort of customer that we can approach us. I'm not sure if, if, if many people know this, but in the $700 billion Obama bailout bill, there was a five-year moratorium on all duties and tariffs on imported woolen fabrics. So we now buy the best woolen fabrics from the best Italian and English mills, and they come in duty-free. So what I would call this is $500 sport coats that if they were made in Italy would probably be $1,000. So the price-value relationship is just incredible. We, we, we like to do a lot of business in very few locations. So we love stores like Nordstrom. We're in every Nordstrom door in America, 181 locations. We're in every Bloomingdale's door. We're in pretty much every Lord & Taylor door. And we're at the best specialty stores in America. For more information about In the Zone with Lisa Marie Latino, log on to www.itzonline.tv.